Do you ask for a sign when you want to know what God wants you to do? Like you're confused and you're about to make a decision and you want God's will to speak to you? I remember a friend of mine, she, she prayed to God, you know, she was confused if she was going to migrate to Canada or she was going to stay in the Philippines. And so she prayed, Lord God, please, if you want me to go to Canada, I'll see a red rose. So because she likes red roses, and so she asked for a sign. Lord God, today, if I see a red rose, then you want me to go to migrate to Canada. And so she looked the whole day, you know, waiting, waiting, waiting. And then a friend of hers comes along that particular day. And would you believe that friend gave her a pink rose? And she was so confused. You know, the friend was giving her that rose. And she, she a pink, why pink? Why, why, why didn't you give me a red rose? Of course, the friend was saying, what? What are you talking about? You know, and she was holding this pink rose. And, and she was saying, she, she prayed, Lord God, why, why pink rose? And she said, do, do you want me to go to Hong Kong instead? <laughs> I was just laughing as I was listening to her story. And you know, I remember another person and she had a boyfriend and she was saying, Lord God, do you want this guy for me because he's giving me so much trouble? Lord God, if this guy is really going to be my husband, l let me see a butterfly. Like when, when I'm with him, Lord God, help me to, to Lord, Lord, give me a sign, Lord. I need to see a butterfly. You know I like butterflies, Lord, and so if I see a butterfly, then... then and so when, whenever, she, you know, like, like when, when she's with him, with him She's looking for butterflies, butterfly, 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 and couldn't see a butterfly. And then she saw he had a shirt on. And the print, one of the prints, was a drawing of a butterfly. And then she was so confused, Lord, I was looking for a live butterfly. You know, why is it a print? But maybe this is your sign. Or, you know, again, she was confused. My dear friend, when you ask for signs, here's the thing. Yes, there are, you know, stories in the Bible where people asked for a sign and they asked God to speak for, you know, and, and, and He did speak through a sign. But here's my experience in life. That you shouldn't depend on signs to know the will of God. You know, asking for supernatural signs is a bit dangerous because we're so biased and we interpret them according to our own biases. What should we do before we ask for signs? First of all, we need to understand one thing. God made us intelligent. He gave you a fascinating, phenomenal brain and you can think through things. And yes, God will speak through your logic first. I'm not saying don't ask for signs. I'm saying don't depend on them to actually be the basis of your decisions in life. Hi, my name is Bo Sanchez. Welcome to Full Tank, your place of inspiration. I pray that God will equip you as we read the gospel. Luke chapter 12, verse 54. You know what Jesus said? He said, you know, when you look at the west and see a cloud rising, you say it's going to rain. And yes, it does. You, you notice the wind coming from the south and you say, it's going to be hot. And yes, so it is. It, will be, it, it, it becomes hot. And Jesus says, you can interpret the earth and the sky. Why can you not interpret this, the present time? Look at reality. That, I, I feel what God is saying is, look what's in front of you. I am that sign, Jesus says. Why do, why do you not understand? Jesus was, was like saying, why don't you see me? I'm the sign of the presence of God. You're looking for this and you're looking for that. I am here. My dear friend, look at your circumstances. Look at your reality. Here's my last word for you. Before you ask for supernatural signs, look for natural signs. Like that woman who had a boyfriend asking for a butterfly. I talked to her. I asked her, why, what, what, what trouble is this guy giving you? Why are you doubting? And she starts telling me and describing to me who he is. And I said, oh gosh, he's taking drugs. He's unfaithful. Caught her, caught him uh, twice with another girl. And he's a bum without any job. You know, I told her, look, you don't have to look for 
supernatural signs. A butterfly for crying out loud. There are three signs right in front of you that says he's not for you. He's taking drugs, he's a bum, and he's unfaithful. My dear friend, what are the natural signs that are already there in your life being shown to you? That's the decision, the guidance that you need in order to make that proper decision in your life. And I pray for you right now for your decisions. Father in heaven, I pray that you would give my friend wisdom, the right wisdom, to be able to make this decision carefully. Lord God, guide and lead my friend every step of the way. Thank you, Father, for your wisdom. Thank you for the clarity that you provide, my friend. Thank you, Father, for blessing. Thank you for presence. Thank you for peace as my friend makes this decision in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Thank you so much again for joining me in Full Tank. And I will see you Monday. God bless you.